Welcome to Ask Sam Smith, and here is the man in question. Hello. Hi, it's Hi. been a while. How are you? I'm good, I'm good. How are you? Yeah, very well, thank you. Good. Lovely to be here. <laughs> um, I've got five questions here that have been sent in. We, have, we did have more than five questions, don't worry. I can speak all day, so <laughs> whatever you Right, need. well, these are five of our favourite questions that I'm going to put to you now. So, uh, the first one came from Brixton, and it's, what's the most important thing that you've learned in the past year and a half since the Lonely Hours release? Gosh, I've learned so much um, in the past year and a bit. And um, I'd, I'd say, number one, the most important thing, which I remind myself every day, is to just be as physically honest as possible. And um, that it's okay to be sad and it's okay to be happy. And, and you've got to have both to be truly content, I think. Um, but yeah, just be honest. So what did you expect it was going to be like? Obviously, this has been you know, such an incredibly intense and fast rush to where you are right now. How did you think it would be? And then how has it compared? What surprised you? About 80% of my life right now is just completely unplanned. I'm, I'm a big planner. I have been from a very young age. I plan out my life. And um, I thought that the, the, like, the best that could happen was I'd have an album that did really well in the UK and I got to tour a little bit. And that was it. And I, like some of the things that have happened and some of the things that I know that... I know some stuff that people don't know. And it's just all insanely overwhelming. And um, truly hasn't sunk in at all. I still... I, I, I have quite a warped idea of where I'm at. I don't really know what's going on still. What overwhelms you? Is it the workload? Is it the, the oh. scrutiny that gets to you? It's, it's the... Um, I think it's the pressure to re in, in how you react. You know, when, when you're given four Grammys and you're selling loads of records, people expect you to react in a certain way, but it, it just hasn't digested. Do you feel deflated at times? Is oh, it completely. I find it, it's, it's, you've got to be very careful because people who are watching this will be thinking, you know, you've got nothing to moan about. But, you know, when, when you're a dreamer for your whole life and then your dreams come true, you've got to figure out what to dream about. You know what I mean? Because that's how I work as a person. But... It's really good problems to have. That's what I say. I know. Uh, Maria Thompson said, what's the funniest thing that's ever happened to you on stage? So have you ever had oh. any kind of... Have you fallen over? Has anyone thrown over, anything at you? I fell over in Berlin. Someone threw a teddy bear at me on stage and I tried to like coolly like walk back and put it on the one of the risers and I tripped over the riser. So that wasn't cool. Um, I, I, do you know what? People, sometimes I sound like I'm messing up a lyric, but I'm actually burping. Well, you have <laughs> trouble with flatulence. Yeah, no, because sometimes I eat a bit too close to the uh, performance. <laughs> <laughs> so if it sounds like I'm missing a lyric, I'm actually burping. Yeah. <laughs> okay, this next one is from Jordan, Jordan Thompson, um, at Smith 7 What is your, or what is one of your favourite lyrics of all time? Is it possible? Do you Ooh. remember lyrics well? My, I remember lyrics to me like have slowly throughout my life become the most important thing about a song. Um, but for me, the lyric that stands out is, um, there is nothing sadder than the man that got away, which I love. Where's that from? That's from Judy Garland from Star is Born, the film. Oh, wow. Okay. Are you... <laughs> it's sad. I like sad stuff. Yeah, but is, is the next album, is it sad, happy? Where, oh, where, I'm where always going? Gonna, always going to be sad about something. But um, I try to, it's not going to be about loneliness. That's all I know. I'm, I'm trying to, um, I'm, not, I'm just trying to live my life and just and see what happens. But I've already managed to write some pretty sad things. Uh, I don't is know, is I just, there relationship stuff on this album? One song already could be, yes. Um, I need to, to get with someone first for it to be about a relationship. So I'm just going to try and kiss loads of boys over the next year. You must have kissed a few so far. <laughs> yeah, a few. And maybe girls, I'm joking. <laughs> <laughs> but you haven't had your heart broken in the past year or so? Mm, I have Again. had my heart broken, but not in a relationship. In something else. Okay. I, I won't be too specific. It's fine. <laughs> um, Vanessa says, which one emoji best describes your life right now? Ooh. The little face with the little teardrop on the head, like sweat, like a bit like... Oh. I never know what that one means. I, I, think I misuse it means like, them all the time, don't you? I can't deal with this kind of thing. Okay, yeah. that's the problem. <laughs> um, and this is what... Uh, wow, bam, I am Sam. Um, will you be collaborating with someone for your next album? Um, I'm not sure. I always play with this idea in my head. I, um, I adore Winehouse Records and Adele Records. And, and um, if you go back to even like Etta James Records and Nina Simone and Sarah Vaughan, and I love how their album is just them. 
uh, I think that's important. I, I like to collaborate. I think it's an amazing thing. But I kind of like to do it outside of the album. I feel like the album's my voice. I should tell a story. So I don't think so. But I will collaborate. So what's your workload like at the moment? Is there, is there pressure on you to release another album? Because surely you're in that situation where you actually could take your time. Yeah, I could. I could, which is a, which is a beautiful thing. But I'm... I'm I'm an artist through and through, and you know I it was actually just yesterday I texted my manager and was like, I've got something to say, and I need to get into the studio, and I've arranged to get in the studio um, next week just because I got to get in there and say something. This what, is th- th- so there is something burning. There's that you something want to that write I've got about. to say, and with What's within that? the. I can't say. But, but within the lonely hour, I was put in the studio every day and I had to really soul search for a story. Um, but now it's just I'm thinking something, something's happening to me and then I'm writing about it literally as soon as I possibly can. And it's a really raw and honest way of writing, but I'm enjoying it. So I'm already writing um, and, you know, when, when it's released and stuff is up to the... the amazing team I have around me but I'm already writing and do things come along that complicate it I mean there, there are award shows will take up your time bond themes to record or write or are there, are there, is there anything uh, that's else not like me. That? that's not that's me that's so not happening that's though. no that's definitely not me but um <laughs> I uh yeah I've I'm, I've still got loads to do <laughs> loads to, I've got another tour I've got Australia tour um but I kind of finished in December which is great and gives me a chance to just be in London, be in my home and um, go out with my friends. And but what do you miss boys? the most when you're, <laughs> when, when you're away from, uh, from home all the time? What is the what thing? What do I miss the most? I miss my family, firstly, then my best friend Tiffy I miss. And then I think I just, I love walking. I'm a really big walker and um, I live like near a massive like park and I just love to just walk, put walk on a hoodie. on your own or do you like to... On my, by myself okay. with my music, put on a hoodie. I look really dodgy actually uh, <laughs> most of the time, but I just love walking. It's my favourite thing. I guess it just gives you time to reflect. Do, you, do yeah. lyrics come to you? Do words come yeah, to you at that time? lyrics come to me and ideas and music video ideas and stuff. I just, you know, it's, it's just a time for me to kind of breathe and just relax and take everything in. And when you're at home in your pants watching the television, what are you watching? <laughs> oh, my gosh. And what are you eating? I'm normally watching Harry Potter. I'm, like, really obsessed. Have you seen all the Harry Potters now? Oh, yeah. I, I watched every one probably about 20 times. It's ridiculous. I actually watched the first one the other day because it was September the 1st and Hogwarts Express leaves. There's going to be a stage play. You heard about this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want to sing in it. <laughs> no, no, I don't. But I, yeah, whatever. But um, <laughs> I watch Harry Potter. I've been... My sister's trying to get me into... Um, the cake, Great British Bake Off, uh-huh. which I'm slowly getting into, but it just makes me hungry. So I try not to watch that when I'm hungry. Um, that's kind of it. I, I like Downton Abbey. Can't wait for the next series. Okay, fair <laughs> enough. <laughs> and an exercise, are you, are you being a gym bunny now? Is that still... Trying to get into it. To I've, um, I, I don't know if you saw my Instagram, but I was playing hide and seek with my security um, the other day and I tripped over and cut my legs. So I can't really work out at the was moment. Was that intentional? No, accident. Okay. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, I can't, to get out <laughs> so I can't work out um, right now, but I'm trying to, trying to get buff. Okay. And yeah. if there was one thing as we head towards Christmas, a thing for Christmas that would make you really happy, what would it be? Oh my gosh. Am I asking Christmas questions for at this time I of year? I don't know. I just want I just want my family with me. And is there anything that you've been able to do for your family that oh my gosh. in this position that Yes, yeah, so many. I bought it was my mum's birthday the other day and I bought her a Mac, which was great. Um I bought both my sisters cars. I didn't go overboard. Um but I got them nice cars. Um that's kind of it. I, I look after my family. They're, they're my number one priority all the time. So. And is there a moment when they've turned around to you and have told you how proud they are? Is there a, a moment? Yeah, it's, there was a moment after the Grammys, actually, where it was this insane release where we all just cried our eyes out. But, you know, Lady Gaga actually said something to me um, before the Grammys. Um, she called me before the Grammys and she said to me, you know, fame doesn't affect you as much as it affects the people around you. And it's so true, you know, because I'm... I, what I have as a singer, I have my music, my honesty, that keeps me, you know, firmly on the ground, I hope and I think. But, you know, it, you know this affects my family and everyone, so I've got, to, I've got to make sure that they're all good, which is my intention. Sam, you haven't changed one iota from that time when I saw you <laughs> at the bit. Brits. In a good way, hopefully. Well, you're sober now. <laughs> oh, my God, I was drunk. I was very drunk. You were. Sam, yeah. thank you very much indeed. <laughs> thank thank you. you. Hope you enjoyed that. Thank you. <laughs>